Well, let's take a quick look at what's happening in the commodity markets. Manisha is joining in. Manisha, what's the one commodity you're looking at today? Well, I'm looking at the metal as a sector, uh, Sonia, because we've seen a huge jump come in for the Asian markets onto this one. Uh, given the fact that we are looking at geopolitical tensions, so most of the tangible commodities have been doing well. But the metal surge of between 1% to 5% in Asia also comes in on the back of the weekend news, where we have the US and the UK uh, telling Russia that they will not be taking any Russian metal delivery on their exchanges. So these are a couple of top exchanges, uh, CME and uh, LME both, which uh, where you look at for metal prices, will not take Russian metal on the exchanges anymore starting 1st of April. But not just that, the imports also have been banned of aluminum, copper and nickel from both of these countries. Now, if you look at the number really, uh, much of the metal that is lying on LME right now is from Russia itself. So whether it is about aluminum, 91% of uh, aluminum, which is on LME right now belongs to Russia. We are looking at stronger numbers at 62% in sense of copper and 36% of nickel, which is on LME warehouses, also comes in from Russia. So these are huge numbers and especially in case of aluminum, if there is no more metal coming in from Russia, you are looking at those concerns coming in for this metal. I want to talk a bit more about aluminum because the prices did surge 5% in Asia today. So this has been an outperformer within the sector. We are looking at 13% of gains in sense of prices in 2024 till by far as well. There also are tight supplies in the Asian markets which have been supportive for the aluminum prices. If you look at the premium for Japan, that has been on the higher side as well. So from the month of April to June, the premium that Japanese buyers will pay for aluminum has been hiked up by nearly 60% to the tune of $145 to $148. Last quarter, it was at $90. So you are looking at that 60 to 65% of a jump for aluminum buying. So whether it's about surprise, surprise, uh, you know, disruptions that we are, disruptions that we are seeing or supply, <clears throat> pardon me, we are looking at support coming in for aluminum because of that. Copper should come in on your screens because that's one is trading at 14-month highs. You have zinc now trading at a 12-month highs. Iron ore and nickel prices trading at a two-week highs. We have seen 1% to 3% of jump, jump come in across these metals as well. There is important data coming in for this week as well. You have the first quarter GDP numbers from China that comes in tomorrow. And then Japan trade data and inflation numbers also coming in on Wednesday and Friday. So further cues would come in from that. But it definitely is a buy continuing in case of metal prices until then. Misha, thanks very much uh, for that. Uh, so <clears throat> some support there as far as commodities are concerned. Major, thank you.